hello hello everyone welcome to my channel i'm really excited to share with you guys this package that i received from wildflower nails i'm going to be posting their link and all of their information down in the description box um, i'm going to start off with these glasses they're actually called nail specs and they're made to protect your eyes from any dust when you're filing but check out the bling on them beautiful swarovski crystals on them definitely going to be rocking those when i file <laughs> okay and these are art paints um I received these beautiful colors the consistency of them and the quality of them is amazing very pigmented and they just slide on the nail like beautiful beautiful um, you're gonna see the consistency of them in this tutorial and this is the artist set it's just um, brushes it's really all e everything that you need in this set it has the 3d brush it has the liners and it has this detail brush um, I believe there are five brushes in the set and this is the silicone set I love and look at their packaging guys you could tell that they take pride in every single package that they send out these are the sil the silicone set it's for um, cleaning out the smile line um, pushing back the cuticles it's you can use it for so many things I'm actually gonna be using one of them and I fell in love with them and these are glitters guys glitters um, I love glitters <laughs> and they sent me all these beautiful colors and it's uh, wildflower nails so I'm gonna start off the tutorial I'm gonna start off with this pink color it's called kisses and this beautiful turquoise color and this black one the lilac color and the yellow color I didn't show because I didn't even end up using them so I added a dot of black to the pink and the turquoise because I wanted darker fall colors so you know anytime you want to darken up a color just add black and anytime you want to lighten up a color you add white so I'm gonna start off with this darkened turquoise color and I'm just gonna paint like a half circle on one side of the ring finger I sculpted these nails with clear acrylic um, and then on the other side I'm gonna use the it's like a magenta color and I ended up using yellow nail polish because the as you can see under there you couldn't really even see the yellow from the paint that I used. the yellow paint was not from wildflower nails it was just a regular acrylic paint that I had handy um, okay now in the middle finger I'm gonna put some foil glue this foil glue you everybody knows i always tell you guys that i purchased my foils in dollarnailart.com and this glue is the one that comes with them so i cut out this piece of paper in, um, they're called silks uh for the nail it's just like a thin tissue paper you can even print them out yourself in your computer if you have tissue paper and um just get really cool designs so with the silicone one of the silicone tips it was perfect for taking out all those just pressing it into the nail and wrinkle free it was completely wrinkle free once it's pressed onto the nail um, I file off all the edges as you can see carefully when I'm around the cuticle area and that's it so now that the yellow part dried I'm using the detail brush with the black art paint just kind of doing some crisscross lines um, and then I'm just dotting black all around that um, yellow half circle then I'm going to do the same thing all around the dark turquoise color and this is such a simple nail um, flower to do if you're beginning with um, acrylic paints or art paints and then you just pull the lines toward the yellow circle but you don't touch the yellow circle and I'm using this glitter uh, color by OPI I'm just going to go over that middle part just to give it a little shine um, and to glam it up a bit but these flowers you can change up the color I really love them and I love how they look and you can do three flowers on each nail if you make them smaller but I decided to do just two big ones I'm using this color from Paranova it's called woodsy hipster it's uh, I'm just gonna use it on the remaining nails that's the first coat and every time you polish try to polish with thin coats that way the polish will dry faster and it will look more even so um, just try to polish with thin layers, let them dry completely, and then just do the other the other coat over that. Okay, so I cleaned those edges with the French brush and pure acetone to give that a more cleaner look. And I use OPI's matte top coat, my favorite, over the woodsy hipster. And on the middle nails, I just applied Nova Inks UV Shine. 
um, on the finger, the middle finger that has a Frida Kahlo um, little decal. If you want it to stand out more, just put white polish under it. But I liked it this way. I really hope you guys also like this design. It's very simple, but very practical and easy to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you guys so much. And remember, live to inspire.